Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm so excited. Do you guys see where we are? We're at a really cool place. What does that sign say? Yeah, we're at Dewberry Farms in Brookshire, Texas. It's gonna be so much fun. Dewberry Farms has all kinds of activities for us to do and you know what time of year it is. We're gonna even check out their pumpkin patch. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We got a lot of pumpkins in this time of year because we're really close to Halloween. Come on, let's go check it out. Here at Dewberry Farms, they have so many activities for us to check out. They've got a train, they've got a couple of critters, they've got all kinds of play structures, even some really big slides we might go down. Are you guys getting excited yet? It's a really cool place. Come on, let's go. Wow, so this is the main entrance to Dewberry Farms. Kind of looks like an old fashioned barn. You gotta come right through here and get all into the fun activities. Come on. Wow, I kind of feel like I'm back home on the farm here. It's really nice and friendly. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, now that we're inside the farm, let's start checking out some of this stuff. I mean, I looked over this way and I see a waterfall but I also see a big painted Texas flag and everybody knows Texas is our favorite state. Let's go get a closer look at that flag. Wow. I mean, there's so much to do. It's kind of making my head spin trying to think of what are we gonna do first? But we're gonna take some time. We're gonna check it all out. <laughs> wow, so this is actually their stage. On the weekends, they'll have performers here come up and do an act on this stage. And look how cool this stage is. <laughs> Ta-da! How do I look up on stage? I hate to stand in front of my favorite Texas flag right here. You know, that's another reason why we call it the Lone Star State, because there's only one star on it. Here we got a picture of a Texas Longhorn, the Blue Bonnets, and even the Mockingbird, the state bird of Texas. Over here, this gal's doing her routine on a barrel race. That's so cool. Whoa! <laughs> hey, buddy, how's it going? They even have a horse here. That's so cool. I'm not gonna look at a horse and not say hi. Whew. Do I look like I'm out on the range? <laughs> Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Come on, guys, look at this. So wow, they have a little pond here and all this water's coming out of this water pipe right here. This isn't a real working windmill, but take a look at that big thing right there. That's a windmill. Back in the olden days, the windmills used to turn and pump water out of the ground and it would dump it into like a pond or some kind of tank so people would have fresh water to drink and so would the cattle. So that's the windmill right over there. And if this was a working windmill, the wind would be blowing those blades up there and it would be spinning and pulling water right out of the ground. Boy, I see Texas flags everywhere here. I love that, that's so neat. Look at that old truck they've got right there. That's really cool. I think we're gonna have to go check it out. And it has some Halloween themed, fall themed goodies on it. Let's go check them out. Whoa. You guys wanna walk over this bridge with me? This is a really cool bridge over the pond and if you look close down there, you can even see some fishies swimming around. We just had a big one go by. Here we are at that old truck. That's really cool. Look, it's got a couple of scarecrows up there and even some little pumpkins. Let's get in that fall spirit because it's almost Halloween time. Wow, what a neat old truck. All right, do you guys want to see some pumpkins? Because they have a pumpkin house. Let's go take a look. Come on. Wow, look at that. I mean, there's pumpkins all over this thing. That's a huge structure, absolutely chock full of pumpkins. Let's go around the front side. They even have a pumpkin path. Wait a second, this is so neat. So if you came here, you could come sit right here and take a picture in the pumpkin patch. <laughs> How did it look? Hey, mom. 
That's so cool. Wow. All right. Well, what else do you guys want to do? I mean, we've got a ton of activities and a ton of things to look at. So let's just start exploring. Wow, right over here, they have a map of the whole facility. You guys want to take a look at the map with me and we can look at all the different activities and see what we want to go take a look at? So let's find out where we are on this big, big map. So here we are right here. That was the pumpkin house that we took a picture at. We can go right over here and look at all these sandbox swings and trikes. That, oh look, there's that windmill that we walked by. That's so neat. Let's see, we're right over here. Well, let's go check out Roosters and Fort Doohickey and some of these Hay Mountain and these other things. Let's just get to it, come on. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, let's go check out this little play area. Come right through the barn, wow. There's really cool stuff in here. Check this out. I see a little playhouse over here. You guys want to go see a playhouse? Whoa. Hey, that sign says Little Farmer's Cafe. Wow, so there's a kitchen here where you could make a meal with your friends and then you could sit down at the table and enjoy yourself in your own little cafe. But if you want to come outside here, there's a lot of fun stuff to do. Do you guys like to swing? I do. I'm pretty good at it too. Woo! <laughs> yeah! All right, let me get off of this. Whew, sometimes I jump, but I just feel like standing off of it today. <laughs> Come on, let's go over here. I mean, you could ride the unicorn. Whoa! See, that's a unicorn. He's not a normal horse. He's got this horn right on his head. And then you could come over here and ride a dragon. A big old dragon. Wow! And then up here on this play structure, there's a lot of things to do. Whoa. Hmm. That looks a little challenging. I don't know if Cowboy Jack should go down that. <laughs> All right, here I go. You guys ready? Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. That was so much fun. <laughs> All right, you could come over here and run through these tires or you could get on a little bike and run the track. There's so much to do. Wait a second, wait a second. Check this out. I see a sand pit with some big old diggers and buckets and dump trucks. That'd be a whole lot of fun to play with. Are you guys ready to go check out Fort Doohickey? It's gonna be a lot of fun, come on. I can see it right over there. You guys see that big fort? We're gonna go check it out and see what all it has inside of it. Wait a second. I can't just walk by this gigantic rooster and not say hi. Check out this guy. This guy looks like a giant foghorn leghorn. That's so cool. All right, I got distracted by seeing that guy, but I wanna go check out Fort Doohickey right now. Whoa. Do you see that ginormous cannon right there? That thing looks monstrous. It's really big. Wow. I mean, this is a real cannon. That is so cool. You wouldn't want to look down the barrel of that cannon. You never know what would happen. See, back when they used to use cannons, they would put them on these rails. This is actually the wheel for kind of like a train. They would put a track because when it fired, it would pull back real hard. All right. We're right outside the amazing Fort Doohickey. Let's go check it out. Whoa, it looks like a maze. I don't even know where to begin. All right, let's go this way. Whoa, looks like we've got to go under. You guys ready? Come on. Woo, Cowboy Jack's a little tall for Fort Doohickey. I don't even know how to get up. All right, I see a way, come on. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. <coughs> Whew. Look at that, guys. You can stop right here at the observation deck of Fort Doohickey and take a look all around town. Looks like there's an even taller observation deck on the other side. You guys want to go check it out? 
Whoa, attack of the pine trees. Look out. <laughs> looks like there's a slide that goes down, but it kind of looks a little bit small for Cowboy Jack. Wait a second, do you guys see what's over there? Pumpkin Holler Land. I wonder what that's all about. You wanna go see if we can get in there and take a look? Let's go. Whoa. Be sure to hold on for safety. Three points is what I always say. Two feet on the ground and at least one on a handrail. Hmm. You guys wanna take the fast way down? <laughs> all right, come on. You go down and I'll meet you at the bottom. Here I come. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that was really cool. But I found something up there. You guys come take a look at my hand. What do I have? Whoa, come back here, little buddy. He's too fast for me. Come on. We just wanted to say hi real quick. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. I've got a tree frog in my hand. Whoop. Well, <laughs> maybe you could just look at him right down there. He was a little bit scared. He's not used to being picked up. But I saw him up there and I thought you guys might want to take a look at him. Wow, Fort Dewberry was really cool and I'm glad we got to meet my friend the frog, but where are we at now? Take a look up there. We're at Pumpkin Hollerland. It's a really cool light show with all kinds of Halloween themes. Let's go check it out, come on. Whoa. It's pretty dark in here, but I see a lot of really cool lights and things. Wow. Look over here, there's a whole farm scene. Look at all these pumpkins that are carved up just for Dewberry Farms. I see a lot of different characters. You guys want to look at the different characters? I see Daffy Duck right there. I'm sorry, Donald Duck. And I see Mickey Mouse. Whoa, look in the back right back there. I see Simba. Wow. Hey, there's Sebastian the Crab from Little Mermaid. That's so neat. Wow, guys, look over here. These are the patriotic ones. All these have something to do with our great nation, the United States of America. 1776 was the year we gained our independence. Wow, you see 4th of July, that's the date of our independence. The Statue of Liberty, whoa. The Liberty Bell, I see all kinds of great things here. Wow, did y'all get a good look at the farm scene? That's so cool. And they have all kinds of barnyard animals carved into these pumpkins right here. Whoa. Hey, come over here. I see a great cowboy carved into a pumpkin. Look, that's Clint Eastwood right there. Wow. If you just look up and around, there's so much to see. I mean, yes, there's all these amazing part carved pumpkins, but there's also these trees with these really cool lights in them. I don't think I've ever seen such a great Halloween display. This is really unique. Whoa, do you guys like dragons? Look at that neon dragon back there. That's really cool. He's really brightly colored with all those fluorescent colored paints. I think that's actually black light paint.
Wow. I mean, this was so cool. There's all kinds of Halloween pumpkins just everywhere and all these trees are carved up. Look at these little guys. This is like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Wow. Well, Pumpkin Hollow Land sure was a blast. Let's get back outside where we can see. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, the Pumpkin Hollow Land was really cool. But let's look at all these real pumpkins they've got out here. I mean, that's a whole lot of pumpkins. This is a, a genuine pumpkin patch. Do you guys know about pumpkins? Let's talk about what color a pumpkin is. What color is a pumpkin? Yeah, it's orange. Did you know they grow on vines? and they thrive in almost all 50 states of the U.S. They're really hardy plants and they grow these big old pumpkins. If you cut into a pumpkin, what do you find? You find the pulp. It's kind of hollowish inside, but inside there's this pulp and it has all the pumpkin seeds. And that's what the pumpkin tries to do. It spread its seeds all over the place so that more pumpkins can grow. It's really cool. Look at this. I mean, there's a lot of variety in pumpkins too. You have big pumpkins, little pumpkins, round pumpkins, oval shaped pumpkins. There's a whole lot of different types of pumpkins. You can just come here and wander all through the pumpkins. You might get lost in the pumpkins. <laughs> wow, see this one's kind of flat. You know why it's flat? Because when it was growing, it was laying on that side. So once they picked it, they put it on its other side. But it's all flattened down because it was all mushed on that side when it was growing in the field. Wow, all kinds of pumpkins. I even see a big old tractor over here. You guys wanna go check out a tractor? What cowboy doesn't love tractor? Whoa, do you see what brand that tractor is? I'll give you a hint, what color is it? It's green. Where have we been before? John Deere? That's a John Deere tractor. Look at it, it's really cool. It's got this big old tractor tire, it's big old tractor motor, and it's really cool. It's hauling all these pumpkins back here. Whoa. I mean, pumpkins aren't light. They kind of weigh a lot. I mean, Look at this pumpkin. I mean, this thing probably weighs about 20, 25 pounds. Let me put it back on the tractor. There you go, pumpkin. So you've got probably close to 60, 75 pumpkins in there. I bet that weighs over three to four, 500 pounds. It's a whole lot of pumpkins and a whole lot of weight. Wow, here's another lake right here. They have so many lakes all over the place out here. That's really neat. And another big windmill. Hey, I wish there was a giant chair around here. Ah! <laughs> I'm sitting in the giant chair. Hey guys. You know what's really fun? They have them all over the place. It's a corn maze. You know what a corn maze is? Sometimes they call it a maze maze. <laughs> a corn maze is where they take a cornfield and they cut an actual maze into it. So you can go exploring around and try to find your path out. They actually have one right over here. You guys wanna go check it out with me? All right, let me get down from that gigantic chair and come on right over here. The corn maze is really fun because you get to get up and close and personal with all the corn plants, but you also have to find your way around. This is the entrance to the corn maze right here. That's so neat. All right, come on. So this is a cornfield. This is where a lot of farmers work every day. If you're walking around, you might see some actual corn. Check this out. So that's baby corn right there. It's not ready to pick just yet. But if you were to break this off and peel the husk back, you would see actual corn. Let's see if we can find a big one. <laughs> Whoa, like there was a little bird down there and he kind of scared me when he was running off. Wow, I see how you could get lost in here. There's a whole lot of different pathways. Hmm. I'll let you guys pick which way we go. <laughs> That way? That's the way you want to go? Okay, let's do it. Wow, we've got a big open area here. Hmm. Ooh, I see even more open areas back over here. 
you know the confusing thing about a corn maze is it all looks exactly the same I mean you got corn plant here corn plant there it's really hard to figure out your way it looks like we might have hit a dead end in the corn oh nope another path over here <laughs> I'm looking for a piece of corn that we might open up and take a look at let's see here here's a good looking piece farm fresh corn so the outside of the corn is protected in this thing we call a husk. What you have to do is pull it open like this. And see, I told you there was corn under there. Isn't that neat? Doesn't get much more farm fresh than this kind of corn. Just kidding, it's not cooked yet. We would need to cook it before we eat it. But since I opened it up, I'm gonna leave it here for the birds to enjoy. I'm just gonna throw it right over here. And I bet you there's gonna be birds on it in no time. They're really gonna enjoy that corn. Woo. Well, I think we're officially lost in the maze, guys. I mean, this corn's getting taller. I don't know if that means anything or not. Do you guys know where we're going? You pointed this way, so you're supposed to know how we get out. <laughs> I think we're lost. Why don't you guys go first and show me the way? I think you guys were right. I think we're getting our way out of the maze. Now which way do we turn? Right or left? Okay, fine. Boy, you guys sure are great navigators. I was worried we were gonna get stuck in this maze for a long time. You found your way right out of it. I'm so glad we have you with us to navigate. <laughs> and here we are right back at the entrance. Whoa, you guys are really good at this. Have you done a corn maze before? I mean, you were like a professional corn maze expert. Woo! We made it out. It gets hot in those corn mazes. Hey, wait a second. Are you guys laughing at my hair again? <laughs> That's okay, laugh away. I know it's goofy. I've got my hat, I'll cover it back up. All right, let's get on to the next adventure. Hey guys, we were walking around and exploring and look what we found, an old school fire truck. I mean, this fire truck has to be from the 1950s because it's so cool looking. And it has all the normal parts of a fire truck. You've got your ladders up here, your connections to a fire hydrant and all of that, all these different pump parts, the wheels. But you know what's cool about this thing? It's a convertible, wow. Wait a second, there's something really unique about this fire truck. Do you see what that is? Take a guess at what you think that is. It doesn't spray water, it sprays candy. That's actually a candy cannon that they use on the weekends here. Every once in a while, they'll load it up with candy and then they pull the trigger and it blows candy right out of this big barrel over here. Isn't that so neat? You're gonna have to stand way out in this field to try and catch some candy because I mean, it shoots at a really long way. Wow, a candy cannon, imagine that. This fire truck is so cool, it's got all these different parts. Oh wow, it's got more fire truck stuff on this side. Look at all these levers and things. Wow. All these different connections and knobs, pressure gauges. Hey, what is that guy? That's one of our old friends, the Armadillo. Wow, what a cool fire truck. Back when they used to use this kind of fire truck, the other firemen would stand right up on the back up here and hold onto this bar and try and get to the fire really fast. If you come here at the right time, they'll be pulling a hay ride. You guys ever been on a hay ride before? You sit in one of these carts and they'll pull you around with a tractor and you get to drive all over the place.
wait a second, guys, stop, stop, stop. I see something huge, ginormous, monstrous in the background. Look right over there, what is that? I can see the sign from here and it says Slide Mountain. You guys wanna go on Slide Mountain with me and check it out? Let's get over there. All right, we made it over here. This is Slide Mountain. Let's go up there and slide down. Woo! It's a really tall mountain. It's quite the workout to get up here. Woo! We made it to the top. Wow. <laughs> From up here, you can see everything. Feels really good up here, nice and breezy. Cause the wind's coming all the way off the top of the mountain. Well, now that we're up here, we might as well get back down. <laughs> Let's go check it out. You guys ready to slide down the mountain? Let's go. One, two, three, come on. <laughs> Wait a second guys, you see all these critters over here? I mean, I see some really cool animals. I see goats and I see sheep. What? Look at that guy way up there. Hey buddy, come on down and say hi. Hey Mr. Goat. Like somebody's talking back there, but look at all these goats. They're coming over to say hi. Come here, buddy. Howdy, goats. Boy, there's a lot of goats. Hey, guys, what's happening? You just goating around? <laughs> saw some pigs over here. You guys want to take a look at these pigs? Oh, looks like there's some little baby pigs. A whole bunch of them. Wow, those are little bitty guys. Hey guys, it's okay. Wow, those are just little bitty babies and I think they're still scared of people because they haven't been around us enough yet. So we're gonna leave them alone, but it's really fun to watch them for just a second. Those piglets are really cool. They look like they're only a couple of weeks old. And I've been hearing this really distinct noise from over here. You guys know what that sound is? I hear roosters. Let's go take a look at it. Say cock-a-doodle-doo for me? No? OK. 
Okay, well, we tried. There you go, you finally said it for me. Wait a second. I see some baby cows. Hello. Come here, guys. Alright cowboys and cowgirls, boy have we had an adventure here today at Dewberry Farms in Brookshire, Texas. I know I had a good time, I mean we saw some animals, I liked those little bitty baby pigs but they didn't want to come to us. And then we, I mean we've done everything, we went on some big slides, we saw a bunch of little slides, we saw pumpkins, that pumpkin hollow land was really cool. So it's been a Halloween fall festival fun time that we've had today. Alright, well hey. Make sure you click subscribe to Cowboy Jack. That way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we have a lot of them. We put them out once every single week. And parents, make sure you follow Cowboy Jack on Facebook. It's just at Cowboy Jack Show. Anyways, until next time I see you. Yeah!